Um, all my life, I've been a tried and true Republican. I've worked to elect Republicans up and down the ballot across America throughout my entire career. I worked for the Koch brothers. Uh, hell, I was even on the convention floor in Cleveland in 2016 when Donald Trump accepted the Republican nomination for president. I'm no stranger to the Republican Party, uh, but today's Republican Party has become a stranger to me. What started with a silly ride down an escalator and that American carnage inaugural address um, has literally morphed into American carnage under Donald Trump's watch. Our country is riddled with a deadly pandemic that could have been slowed had the President of the United States taken the threat seriously, had the President of the United States not lied to the American people. And none of it had to be this way. Donald Trump has consistently spit in the face of the health professionals who swear an oath to do no harm. He's given infomercials on miracle drugs that don't work. He's mocked Americans for wearing masks and social distancing. He's held reckless super spreader events, endangering government officials and his own supporters. He had the chance to meet this moment, and he failed miserably. At the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves what kind of country we want America to be. We have to ask ourselves what kind of president we want our children to see. I firmly believe that there will come a day when those who've enabled and supported Donald Trump will pretend that they never did. These are difficult times, but I have the utmost faith in the promise of this great country and in our people to choose hope over fear and common purpose over division. That's why I'm voting for Joe Biden. I hope that you'll join me so that we can heal the soul of this nation.